Uh, I'm a plastic surgeon and doing a lot of reconstructions and I've been uh, experienced, I have the privilege to uh, have the experience using thermal clothes for uh, at least about a couple of years. Uh, in the beginning I use it uh, for the donor site uh, where we use for the free flap donor site closures. Uh, but uh, recently our group uh, where we work uh, do a lot of uh, not only for the donor uh, flap closures, but also uh, routine wounds. Uh, that it's, uh, there are also acute and chronic wounds. As we know, a chronic wounds sometimes a little bit more challenging uh, because there are a little bit more fibrosis involved with it. Uh, but certainly, depending on the type of uh, the wound, uh, the, the size of the wounds, as well as the tissue mobility, that is the most important part, uh, recognizing that what is the tissue pliability, mobility, and what can be utilized along with the dermal close will help uh, uh, in, in closing uh, the wound uh, a much better uh, rate than, uh, than using uh, conventional modality in, in wound care techniques. So for example, uh, in comparing the utilization of a dermal close by itself versus the skin graft, uh, the one that we know for sure is uh, when patient who has um, a wound created for fasciotomies. And in the past, people uh, use skin graft as a primary modality in trying to get the wound closed. But I think uh, when you use dermaclose immediately and appropriately, you can actually avoid skin grafting the patients. By avoiding skin graft, actually you might have a better cosmesis results rather than having a divot uh, from the skin graft uh, on the wound itself versus a primary closure, or what we call it secondary closures, that is assisted with the dermal close, uh, I think they will provide you with a much better result.